What's up, my geeks? My name's Sean, and you're watching Geek Infinity here on the Gorge Network. And today, we're actually going to show you guys some stay-at-home tips. And today, we're going to show you how to make a medical mask. Now, this isn't better than a regular medical mask, but it is something you can wear to the store, something you can wear if you're going somewhere where you know it's more populated. And in today's day and age, with uh, the virus going around, and it, it makes it a lot harder to find these types of items. So this is the first of a series of self tips for you, for you guys, and I'm going to show you how to do it. All right. So all you need is real simple. These are all things you can find at Dollar Tree, Dollar General, all kinds of easy places. Doesn't cost a lot. You just need a roll of toilet or not toilet paper. Yeah, good luck. You just need a roll of uh, paper towels, uh, two rubber bands, and a stapler. All things. That, Total cost you about three dollars to buy in total. So let's get to it. You're gonna start. I would recommend maybe putting the design. If your paper towels have a design, put the design on the outside. So you want to fold it this way. All right, and we're gonna start folding it like a uh, like a paper fan. Okay, you guys remember that when you were kids, you made paper fans and thought they were cool and everything. Well, guess what? It's that time again, everyone. <laughs> we're home. All right, we're home for the next few weeks, if not longer. Let me know when you were actually watching this video. As you can see, I made some, some basic folds here. You want it to be nice and flat. You don't want it to be all bumpy. You know, give it, give it a good caress, good, good caressing right here going on. Then this is where it could get a little tricky. So what you're going to do is you're going to take, depending on your head size, I have a more round head. And round face so I need it to be a little further out to the edge as you can see you're gonna put your rubber band right here and let that focus in and you're just gonna fold this little flap over take your trusty stapler and you're gonna staple it right here at the end see that's one you know, and you can make sure just give it a little tug don't tug it too hard because you know it's the staple you can do the same thing on the other side Again, this is to your preference, depending on your head size, because it does matter. If you're making it for your child or whatever, you might want to fold it in a little closer. See, like me, I went a little too far out. See, so we're going to staple that right there. And then from here, we're going to hook it on to each one of our ears. And then you're just going to reach in and pull up. Hopefully a little smoother than I did it. And as you can see, you have a mask. And these do work. You know, they do work. Again, if you can find medical masks, great. Uh, most of America can't. Most of the world can't. So in a pinch, if you need to go to the store, if you need to go anywhere, this will definitely help. If you need to take care for cats and all that good stuff, like this little cat back here. It's also a good thing to do if you're cleaning up your house and if you don't have a mask. So if you stay tuned, we'll have some, some other stay-at-home tips for you. The next episode will actually be how to make hand sanitizer, and we'll show you the steps necessary for that. So with that being said, we wish you all the best, everybody. We hope that everyone's taking care of themselves. We hope that everyone is staying home and washing your hands and doing what's necessary, and we just hope that Everyone is doing the best that they can out there, and we will leave some some links in the link or some links down below in the description for you to where you can find some of this stuff. So with that being said, my name is Sean, and we'll see you in another universe.